I've got my photographs uh, that I've uh, printed out from the uh, computer for the different ideas I'm going to use. This is the uh, warrior, of course, with the uh, spear. I'm definitely going to be using this headdress style, but it's not going to have the train going down the back. It's just going to be the headdress. I think I'm going to go with this design here where the warrior's got his war club resting on his uh, knee. So that means I'm going to have to raise one leg up, and uh, I'll, sh I'll put the picture on the video so you can see what I'm talking about. So I've got to cut this right here to bring that part down to there. <laughs> so no need to cry about it, just change it. I need to, uh, since these are two separate uh, pieces of tubing, I need to stabilize uh, the two legs. I'm going to cut this stick. This is going to hold everything in place for a temporary hold anyway. Christian's tape is very handy. That will stabilize the movement there. This. Right about there. that there. You can see how much space I had that I had to fill and uh, it's ridiculous that I was in off. Thank you. 
armature, or a support for the armature, by getting a 7th, 7 eighths inch uh, thick uh, piece of wooden dowel, which is plenty of strength to hold up a uh, clay, and uh, a 2 before, and I drilled a hole through the uh, 2 before, put the uh, dowel through there, and measured it out until it met the body where I want it, um, which is right there. And then I put the 2x4 uh, on a piece of wood so I could adjust where I want to put that and then screw it down. Then I put an extra support down here, uh, 45 degree angle to just add a little more support to the uh, forward action of the weight of the clay. Now I'm going to tie the uh, figure onto here. Oh, and what I did was uh, the 7 8 uh, uh, drill bit drilled a hole just a little bit bigger than the actual 7 8 uh, dowel, and so I put glue inside the hole, and then I ran a screw, and I'll show you what I did. The uh, screw in the un underside where it's leaning down, and I put it between the gap in the wood and the, in the uh, dowel, and I just drive it in, and that adds strength to, the, that dowel's not going to go anywhere, and it's not gonna, certainly not going to be coming out on this uh, piece, and if I can find a little bit, I'm going to drill a hole through the dowel, right as close as I can to the front, and all the way through, bailing wire, which comes in rolls like this, and I'm just going to cut off a section put it through this hole. And wrap it back around on itself. And I'm going to take this and just wrap it around the uh, dowel and the uh, figure. And that will hold it in place. And since I'm going to be putting a uh, foam around this thing. I don't need to get too uh, elaborate because it's all going to be held in place by the foam. Yeah, looks good. Let's look at it from all angles. It's, it's always good to look around uh, the figure before you finalize something because you'll spot an out of balance uh, pose real quick. thing to do is start putting foam on this thing and I'll show you how I do that.